Hi friends, today's lesson is all about text features. Our learning goal for today says, I can tell about how to use different text features. Let's go ahead and say those words together. Text features. Yeah, that's a mouthful. A text feature is something you'll find in a book that helps the reader to understand everything they're reading. Let's go ahead and talk about some text features we might find in books we read. The first text feature we're going to talk about is the title. The title is normally found on the cover of the book, and usually it's in pretty big words. The title gives the reader a hint about what you'll be reading. The title of this book is Dear Zoo. Do you have any guesses as to what the story will be about just from the title? Yeah, it'll probably be about zoos. That's a really good book, by the way. Another text feature is the table of contents. The table of contents organizes a, the plan for the book for the reader. So if you look over here, you're going to see it says puzzles. And all down the side, it's going to list all the puzzles you'll find in the book. It normally gives you the page number as well. The table of contents is great because it lets the reader know what the author's plan is for the entire book. If you want to go to certain spots, you can use the table of contents to tell you the page number. It's really helpful, and the table of contents is found at the very beginning of the book. Another text feature that tells the reader information is the heading. Headings are normally found above paragraphs or pages, and it gives the reader a clue as to what the author will be talking about in that section. A heading on this page is entitled Teeth and Tails. So what do you think we're going to learn about on these next few pages? Yeah, we're probably going to learn about teeth and tails. See, headings are really good because they help the reader understand what they're about to read. And then you can get your good brain ready to start thinking, hmm, what do I know about teeth and what do I know about tails? And then you'll know how to organize that information in your brain once you've learned it. A caption is another text feature. Cap captions work together with photographs. Usually there's a picture and then a caption is right underneath a picture or a photograph. The caption is just a sentence or two that tells you information about what you'll see in the photograph. This caption says, marmots cannot fly away from winter like geese do, so they hibernate. In fact, Marmots spend most of their year in hibernation. I'm not sure if I said the word marmot right. Fingers crossed. Anyway, the caption tells us about the picture. Another text feature you might find in a book is a chart. Sometimes you'll find charts or graphs. What charts and graphs do is they organize information using math. And then the reader can look at the information and make some conclusions about it. So for example, this chart is all about favorite pets. If you just look at the tally charts, can you see quickly, and because it's so organized, which pet the kids chose as their favorite? Yeah, the cats. Look at all those tally marks. Good thing the chart was there to help us organize that information. The index is found at the back of the book. Sometimes I get confused because the index has numbers that are page numbers by some words, and sometimes I get that confused with the table of contents. But the index job to do is to help you, the reader, find different things you might want to learn about in the book. Unlike the table of contents, it's not giving you a plan for what the author's going to talk about. It just tells you specific words and the page number you'll find it on. So for example, if I looked in the index on this one and I wanted to look at maps, I would find the word maps and it tells me right here. It talks about Oregon maps on page 6 and page 7. That would help me, as the reader, turn right to those pages to learn about maps in Oregon. The glossary is another text feature that you'll find at the back of the book. The glossary gives definitions or meanings for new words we might not be familiar with. Glossaries are really helpful when you're reading something new that you're not sure about what a vocabulary word might mean. So for example, this glossary has the word thunder. Did you know thunder is the loud boom that follows each bolt of lightning? 
Ooh, I don't really like thunder, do you? Yeah, it's way too loud. Thanks, Glossary. Bold print. When you're reading and you're looking at the print, sometimes you'll come across really dark words. Those dark words are in bold print. Bold print helps the reader to know what the most important words are on that page. This one, for example, says some animals in the ocean, or some animals live in the ocean. Animals can live in a barn. Animals can live in a tree. Animals live in the zoo. Now the heading, oops, sorry. The heading tells me animals have homes. So if I just looked at just the bold print, ocean, barn, tree, zoo, hey, that must be where the animals can live. Bold print helps to highlight or like pop out words that are important for the reader. Another text feature is an icon. This is an electronic text feature. You'll find this on like iPads, computers, iPhones, or your Android. An icon is a nice little picture. It's like a mini picture and when you click on it, it takes you to a new location. This icon, for example, is for the camera. If I click on it, it takes me right to the camera and I'm ready to take pictures. Icons are really helpful in moving the reader to a new, plot, a new spot. Our learning goal for today says, I can tell about how to use different text features, and that's exactly what we did today. I hope that as you're reading through a book, you're able to find some of these text features and practice using the good tools to help you understand what you've read.